Okay, thanks for being patient, guys. I think we're gonna speak now, because it's well past midnight. People are falling asleep. Now that it's gone midnight on Saturday in the EU time zone, that officially marks the end of the main fleet's expedition, the main fleet's mission to Beagle Point. Um, I just want to emphasize right from the start that it's not the end of the mission itself, because the secondary fleet, the FGE um, exploration wing, that has been very, very gracious enough to create a slow boat uh, flotilla that is behind us by about six weeks at this point um, so that people that don't have the amount of time that's required to make it in three months are still able to join in, um, are still going and that means that this distant world is not closed by any means and by any nature but I still feel it's important to m commemorate the end of um, the Beagle Point week, the first one um, which is basically the main fleet so, yep, yeah, Corbin, Moran and Wishblen, we thank you very much for continuing the mission and we hope to hear lots from you. We hope to see lots of uh, cool stuff coming still that will make us feel still connected to the distant worlds even though we're on our way home. So if you're listening or if you see this later, I just want you to know everyone thanks you from the bottom of their hearts. So yeah, it's all over now for everyone else and it's quite a sad moment. And uh, as you can tell, I'm feeling a little bit down about it. Um, I'm going to miss the action and the fun. I'm going to miss, I think the biggest thing I'm going to miss is the ability to just type into Discord, hey everyone, come here and meet me and we're going to do this. And in about five minutes, we're going to have 60 people vying to get into the same instance. That is not going to happen again for a while. Um, just because of the nature of explorers. Explorers basically, what they do is they explore. So even though everyone's going to head back to the bubble now, uh, I think everyone's just going to disperse again. That's the nature of explorers. We'll probably still be able to arrange something for the next day. People can come back from their exploration things, but just the effortlessness, which I think is the key word for distant worlds all the way through. It's just effortless. It's the biggest effort any of us have undertaken in the game before, but everything that has happened has been effortless. And uh, that effortlessness is now over. We're going to head back our own ways. And I think Emerus has pointed out that that's actually quite appropriate because all the way through this, we've on this amazing mission, but we haven't felt the true nature of exploration, which is being alone. But that the second half is what it is. The second half is getting back. And of course, I'm act uh, actively encouraging everyone to wing up and do stuff together and possibly form little fleets, mini fleets and little events along the way. But overall, because it's not organized, it's going to just end up that you're going to be alone quite a lot of the time. You're going to feel, for those that haven't done it before at least, what it's like to do such a long trip together so savor it because it's really going to add a lot of meaning to the trip when you get back to the bubble after all that you're going to realize just what you did um, and just how amazing it was to be together as part of distant worlds because you won't really experience that for the return trip and uh, I was going to say some other things but my mind has kind of gone blank yeah so basically I Ed Lewis, I think, agrees with this, although he's never actually outrightly told it to me um, because he has another job, which is community manager. And we are not just one part. We're not just we're not the community. We're not the only part of the community. Um, he's constantly emphasizing to avoid arguments and jealousy that we haven't done anything hugely unique. There's been plenty of others. And while I, I agree with him in concept, we haven't done anything specifically unique except for maybe change the face of exploration. Um, lots of other groups have changed the way the game is perceived and created like communities that have rivaled us. Um, I still think when when I say rival, they still I think this community that we've created on distant worlds and the kind of games we've come up with, the kind of things we've done, the kind of togetherness and the kind of all this going on in deep space, far away, scary, alone, and on this incredible mission. I think we, and plus with the publicity, getting into the magazines with our craziness and the interviews that I've done, and uh, yeah, thanks to you guys, and the videos we've made, and the impact we've made on the community, and the very fact that not once, not once anywhere on the internet, uh, have I seen anyone complain and say, oh, you guys are losers, as they always do when they're talking about Elite. You guys are such losers playing a silly game that's completely empty and that's got no soul in it. Every single person that's ever commented on a video we've made 
or commented on an interview we've given or a magazine write-up that was done about us they've all been like wow that's so cool that's so cool that's cool maybe not the beginning but as we progressed and as we started like really getting a name for ourselves and really coming together and expressing ourselves and coming out properly that's when everything kind of starts to turn around and i think we've affected the bubble as much as affected each other and we've also affected the perception of elite the truth is elite is just a platform it's a, it's a universe it's a galaxy okay it's a galaxy at the moment um and it's a platform it's a stage they've added as much as they can but they've left the rest to us and we've shown how it's supposed to be done other again so this is why it comes back to ed lewis so ed lewis hasn't really wanted to say that um and he's never even said it to me in private because he does believe and i i also do believe that there are many other groups that have done exactly that but we've done it on a different scale on a different level and for that you should all be proud you should all really really take pride in that because it was you and it wasn't it wasn't anyone but you it was who you are as as people um and you have shown how it's done and look, i'm driving around now i can see uncountable numbers of ships in this instance and that is just like a testament to exactly what we are we get together on mass and we do things together and we bring life to this game like nothing else and uh so my closing sentiments are going to be that everyone everyone who has come to me and, and thank me have said this has been the best gaming experience of my life so you should all realize that you've created that as well you've created the best gaming experience for so many people's lives even if it wasn't for you personally it was for so so many people so many people have told me that they pleased to play this game and had like two friends who were never online and now they've got like 50 friends that they talk to every day and they don't know what to do with themselves because there's so much to do and uh, i just want you to realize that even though eremus and i started this stuff and we we enabled it to happen through our hard work we didn't intend for it to be like this we would we didn't ex- we couldn't have predicted in our wildest dreams that it would be like this so that is because you guys have done this and everything else i said is it's all down to you and you should all take pride and even though it's over it's just the beginning because i know that sounds like a cheesy corny cliche but it really is like now that we've proven that it can be done now that we've proven the concept we're going to make we're going to do this again and again and again and make it better and better and better there'll be many exploration uh, uh, expeditions between now and the next big one and you should join them if you feel like it I'm probably going to join one absolutely no administration work whatsoever don't even ask and uh and then there's going to be distant worlds 2 and distant worlds 3 and one day hopefully distant galaxies and distant multiverse and distant heaven and who knows but yeah it's not over it's just the beginning but for now it's coming to an end so let's not be too sad about it let's celebrate what we've done and anticipate the future and uh if anyone else has anything to say who's currently in this live stream now's the time otherwise i'm going to dismiss the fleet candy crew forever okay. candy crew forever oh yeah might as well thank the candy crew and i've already spent a whole stream thanking everyone so go back and listen to that again i think now's the time i don't want to take up drag it out too long i think everyone should now dismiss from beagle point and commemorate the end of the main fleet's expedition. So I'm going to dismiss you all now. And when I say engage, please launch into the sky. Wow. And depart to the nearest star system and make your way home. Wow. Engage. As Aggie Nine Pence has said, light a fire in the void that will ne- never go out.
Here we are at last, Cass. Waypoint 23, Eagle Point. Man, it's been a long journey, hasn't it? Aye, that it has, Commander. We've had some fine adventures along the way, eh, Cass? Adventures? Um, well, we've certainly had experiences. I'll grant you that for sure. Oh, come on, Cass. Of course there are adventures. I mean, just think of everything we've been through, eh? 